All right, looking forward to football season. Well, a lot of people are assuming it's on and to get there, though, we have to assume a couple of things. First, Ada County will advance out of stage three, which as it stands right now, does not allow group gatherings of more than 50 people. Second, the new order from Central District Health, which we're expecting that to kind of pass here momentarily, which prohibits large venue gatherings like sporting venues will have to be revised or allowed to expire. And that's possible. And if that means the Boise State football season is probable, well, then they've sent out some new guidelines for those that will choose to watch home games live. An email was sent out to season ticket holders today, and it, we've broken it down to include all facets of the game. First, on offense, face masking will no longer be a penalty. In fact, it will be required inside the stadium, just not in your seat, while you are going in or leaving and while you're in the common areas like the concourse and the concession stands you'll be required to wear a mask. That's also, by the way, where beer and seltzers will be served during games for the first time in school history. Then on defense, physical distancing in the stands, meaning you may not be sitting in the same seats you're used to. Handrails, high contact surfaces will also be sanitized before gates open and hand sanitizer will be available at entrances and in the bathrooms. Moving over to special teams, tailgating will be spaced out as well. No more cramming into adjacent spots where you literally can rub elbows with your tailgating neighbor. There will not be fan zone activities at DeChevro Field. That's the public tailgate party. And you'll only be allowed in designated tent areas in that space. And once you're in the stadium, you're in. No more going out to the parking lot at halftime and going back in for the second half. And that's all because of the new selling alcohol policy. Of course, all of this is subject to change per guidance from the city, the, the county, the Central District Health, and even the state. But if you are expecting football this fall, well, just don't expect any sellouts this season. Several questions abound, of which we tried unsuccessfully to get answers to today, like, will there be a bathroom monitor? Do I have to stay completely within my tailgate space? No more mingling with the party three spaces down? And what if they have better food than mine? I can't go down and ask for some of that. Will masks be required in the parking lot? Or even more reasonable questions, like, how is physically distanced seating going to work? Are you only allowed to buy four tickets at a time? Going to a live sporting event is, you know, a shared experience. You go to celebrate, to commiserate, to verbally obliterate the other team and their fans. And without the ability to share all of that with those that have worn the colors, the three layers or the paint on their chests, how will it be any different than sitting on the couch in your home? I guess we'll find out when the Screaming Eagles of Georgia Southern roll into town on September 5th, which also begs the question, will screaming still be allowed?